Hello dear friends, it is time for another thrift haul. This past weekend to celebrate my oldest sister's birthday, we took her on a little thrift trip. We went just down to Delaware, which is just a state away, but we thought we would do some new thrift stores that we've never done before. And it was so lovely. I wish I had taken a lot more video, but it's always hard to strike that balance between being present in the moment and worrying about taking video. So I do have a little bit that I'll put together here. We hit quite a few thrift stores between New Jersey and Delaware and it was just a lot of fun. So most of the goodies that I got were from the Goodwill outlets. We hit two different ones, one in Jersey and then one in Delaware. We'll say that I got the least out of all of us, which makes sense since both of my sisters have families that have a lot more needs than me. I also went thrifting very briefly yesterday. I was running errands, so I just popped right in and I got a few really good homewares. So at the end, I'll share those with you too. First, we'll just start with the stuff that I got on our little thrift trip. So to kick things off, I got this little cropped 100% linen shirt, which I feel like is so good both for now for summer and going into fall like a good fall transition since it's short sleeved and it's cropped and I can layer it. It's the brand Lou and Gray. I also have been on the hunt for more button down like men's shirts. I always really love that style. I always wear it a lot. And so I was just like, was thinking that I feel like I need to keep my eyes out for more. So I found this Lands End men's white button down that's a little bit bigger so that I can, you know, layer it on top, especially for summer still. I'm really excited to give this a try. And at the same time, I also got a blue like Oxford style one which I think will be great for both going into fall as well as summer. And they're both really, really soft, especially the Oxford, which is today's man. That's the brand. But yeah, I am excited to start working these into my wardrobe because I feel like what I've kind of been missing lately is good layering pieces. So I'm excited to wear these. I know it's not fall yet, but she's coming. She's coming. And I'm excited. I'm trying my best not to rush it because I do love summer, but I love fall. And I am, I am excited for sweater weather. So we have a couple sweaters that I found and I just couldn't resist. I feel like this will be a fun going into, you know, early autumn wear. It reminds me of like a very like 90s, or it is a very 90s, you know, short sleeve turtleneck. And the brand is actually Marie Claire. I don't know if they're still in business, but that was a magazine. I don't know if it's the same people. I would say it's at least 90s, if not, I almost think it's older than that, like maybe 70s or 80s. I'm certainly no expert when it comes to vintage textiles, so maybe if you have some idea, let me know. 
and this one just looked way too comfy to pass up. It is a nice, big, oversized, super, super soft sweater. Brand is Airy, which I just feel like they're always so good at making super duper comfy, like lounge around the house, but still look decently cute clothes. So when I saw it and I felt it, I couldn't say no. So there's that. All right, and this is the last piece of clothing, but I am really excited about this one. I don't know if it's just because it has like maximum fall vibes. Look at it. It's just the most perfect, cozy fall cardigan. I found ones like this before that look like this, but they're wool. And let me tell you something, I've given up on wool, but this is just, I have to try it on. Don't worry, these are all clean. I already washed all this but it's just like, look, it's oversized. Uh, I could just sit around all day in this and, you know, sit and read a book and drink a cup of tea. Next, we will move on to books. There's not too many, but I did grab a few because, you know, I can't resist. I wish that we had done a thrift haul with my sisters too, although it probably would have been an hour long. My oldest sister actually got over 50 books, I believe. I love it. I love to see it. Clearly it is a family trait. None of us can say no to a good book. I just grabbed this classic. I feel like there's some classics that I still have not read. So I just like to grab them when I see them. So this is A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I have read A James Joyce before. I enjoy them. So figured I will put this on my shelf. It looks like pretty short. So I think I'll be able to run through it pretty quickly. And this one just looked interesting. I know almost nothing about it. I did briefly read the back cover, but it's called The Innocence by Francesca Seagal. Honestly, it's just the cover that sold me. I mean, how can you, I wanna read this. I don't know what's going on, but I wanna read it. Plus I thought the title was really good too. I'm sort of like, hmm. So yeah, we also stopped at a place called Second and Charles. I don't know whether or not that's a like national chain, whether those are other places, but essentially it's like a Plato's closet for books where people bring in their old books and they, you know, will buy them from them and then they're discounted. So I just got one thing there, but it was just so lovely. I couldn't resist it is Cabins by Philip Jodidio but it is such a beautiful book full of beautiful pictures of cabins and descriptions. And they even have like the floor plans, which I oddly am like super obsessed with seeing like floor plans of houses. I like absolutely love seeing floor plans for some reason. So moving on to homewares, this is kind of a funky one, but I found these whisks and they're like pretty good, solid, sturdy whisks. And I literally have only had one whisk for like the last 10 years, I'm pretty sure I got it at like the dollar store and it's always sort of like coming apart. So <laughs> I saw this pair and I was like, yes, it's time for me to have a decent whisk. So now we do. Okay, my sisters found this and they were debating on whether or not it was creepy. But then of course I came up behind them and I was like, I want that. This little bird basket. Look at him, he's so cute. And he just opens up. I don't know, I couldn't say no, he's too cute. Another kitchen item that I grabbed was this really cute dusty copper bowl. It's just a regular little mixing bowl, but I love that it was sort of like the aged copper. I have a couple copper pieces in our kitchen already. I feel like it's such a nice warm color to add to our kitchen, especially because our kitchen is all white. Some nice warmth and depth to the space. All right, and so the last thing from the sister trip I actually didn't buy myself. My sister ended up giving it to me because she got two of them. So she gave me one. So it is this little candlelight house. She had an incredible idea, or it, I think it's an incredible idea. It's kind of Christmassy here. And our family is a big, big fall and Halloween family. But so my sister had the great idea of taking these little tea light houses and painting them to be more fall Halloween-y. And I was just saying like, Laura, that's such a great idea. That's just adorable and I can't wait to see what you do. But she got two of the same identical ones and, and so she passed me one and said, how about you do it too so that I can get inspired by what you do. So now I am charged with figuring out a cute way to make 
this little guy folly halloweeny i think i want to lean more fall like generic fall not specifically halloween i think doing halloween would be really easy just to do sort of like shades of black and orange and that would be cute for sure but i think i want something like gilmore girlsy like i want to make it a little gilmore girls house okay and real quick just because i can't resist sharing with you guys I have to show you a couple of the things that I got yesterday when I popped into the thrift store. Starting off with candlesticks. I always grab candlesticks from the thrift stores whenever I see good ones. Tons of them at thrift stores and it almost seems like such a waste to buy them brand new unless you're buying them from like an artisan who makes really beautiful ones but like as far as like buying them from a big box store I would so much rather just get ones from the thrift store. These ones are really cute. They're twisted and they're red and so I'm gonna put these away for Christmas especially. And then this one is a really lovely like deep pink I am also going to throw into my bin for spring decor. So none of these I'm necessarily ready to burn right now but I just you know you gotta grab them while you see them. So this is a nice hefty glass candlestick holder. Really lovely. I've been wanting to add more glass ones into my collection. I have one or two but I mostly have brass and silver. I love the look of an eclectic candlestick situation so I wanted to start adding more glass ones in and this one was three dollars okay and these ones I spent a little bit more on these ones than I usually do the more I sort of thought about it the more I was like no I just need I just need to get them but they are a set of brass candlestick holders and they are all twisty clearly I was on a theme yesterday but they're really hefty also and just really lovely. Like I said before, I've been collecting brass candlestick holders for years and I've never seen ones quite like this and they're nice and tall too. I think they're quite a bit taller than any of the other ones that I have and I love having like varying heights. Anyway, these were $7. Like I said, a little bit more than I usually spend because I am a big old cheapskate, but they're just too lovely to pass up. I literally walked past them. I thought about them, walked past them, went around the aisle and ended up circling back and was like, you know what, I'm not gonna see ones quite like that again, so I should just get them. And last, but as always, not least, look how beautiful this lamp is. I almost didn't get it, because I was like, am I crazy? But I kept thinking about it as I walked around the store and I just couldn't leave it there. I think I'm going to put it in our kitchen this fall. I think it would be so nice. I've been really wanting to find a cute little lamp for the kitchen. I want to see if I can get a one of those light bulbs that are actually like battery powered or Bluetooth or whatever it is that they are. But this is kind of a funky size. This is one of those like candlestick sizes almost. There it is. I did do a brief search yesterday to see if I could find them and I wasn't totally confident in any of the ones that I saw online that they were the right size. But if you know of any of those like battery powered ones that fit this size, let me know in the comments because I would greatly appreciate it. But that wraps it up for today. I love having this little community here where we can share our thrift finds. It feels so fun. I feel like some people in my life have not always appreciated thrifting quite the way that other people online have. So I just want to thank you all for being here and I hope you are having a lovely day and I will see you next time.